Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at an uh, item that is uh, eloquently referred to as the Baby Shaco. Uh, the Baby Shaco is the, uh, the Peasant Crown War Hat. Now the Peasant Crown War Hat, hat is actually pretty nice. And uh, the only reason why they call it the Baby Shaco is because, uh, well, Shaco is plus two to skills and has some nice effects. And this one is plus one to skills and has some nice effects. So, you know, generally when you look at this item, um, you're looking at it for a lower level character, not a higher level one. Whereas Shaco, the Harlequin Quest Crest Shaco tends to be one of the higher level items that you would uh, you would put on. Now, um, Peasant Crown is, uh, is relatively nice with uh, some relatively nice statistics. So let's go over it, shall we? And if you happen to find a Peasant Crown, I mean, normally, uh, quite honestly, you'd be pretty excited. Uh, Peasant Crown is is actually pretty sweet. Um, and depending on what character you're on, and if you're using a lore hat, uh, Peasant Crown is probably going to be far superior to a lore hat, which is uh, a rune word that you could make around level 27, uh, which is only one level below the Peasant Crown. So we have a uh, defense of 108, uh, which is relatively nice. A uh, strength requirement of only 20, which means just about everybody's going to be able to wear this. Uh, and a level requirement of 28, which, as I said, is one level above the, uh, the lore hat. Uh, so we have plus one to all skills, which is static. We have 15% faster run walk, which is static. Always nice to have on an item run walk. Uh, we have 100% enhanced defense, which is static. We've got 20 to vitality, which is a pretty huge boost to your uh, to your life and your stamina around this particular level, with both of which you are looking to uh, to get some extra. So as you can see, I have uh, 1,486 life, and I go to 1,546. A pretty nice little bonus to my life there. We also have 20 to energy. Which again is a pretty nice bonus to my mana. So um, depending on the character, um, you know, your vitality and energy will give you different amounts depending on what character you are. Um, so like for instance, if you're a druid, I think druids get the short end of the stick with, with vitality because they have all these um, abilities that increase their health, whereas a lot of other characters get more. Um, same thing when it comes to mana, like certain characters get more mana and certain characters get less per energy uh, point of energy. And uh, you can see I get at least 30 points to my mana there, which is not bad. And uh, we also get Replenish Life plus 12, which, uh, if I remember correctly, that is the only variable on this particular hat. Um, it does vary between plus 6 to plus 12. And uh, Replenish Life is actually very nice to have uh, because your character is going to generally just sort of passively regenerate his health uh, while using this particular item. And um, you can stack different sources of Replenish Life to get more and more. Like, for instance, uh, you could put on a uh, Skin of the Flayed one, which also has Replenish Life, um, and, uh, and various other sources of Replenish Life until you've got your Replenish Life pretty darn high to the point where your health is just constantly just... just Cooling back up like freaking your Wolverine or something. Now, of course, you can also find an ethereal version of the Peasant Crown, uh, which I will have to actually run the numbers for because I don't uh, know the exact defense on this. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, War Hat, which is the base for this. And uh, the War Hat has an average defense of about 50. Let's say 50. So 50 plus 50% equals 75 plus 100 percent so we're looking at about 150 defense for the ethereal version um, and unfortunately due to the relatively low durability on the uh, the peasant crown war hat um, you're probably not going to be using the ethereal version for very long but keep in mind that it, it's actually a pretty nice choice for a mercenary so he's going to get plus one to all skills which will beef up his aura He'll get the um, the nice defense and the vitality. The energy won't have any effect on him. And if I remember correctly, um, Replenish Life doesn't have any effect on mercenaries because they can also not obtain negative um, draining life. Something to do with the fact that their um, their their Replenish Life slash Drain Life stat, which goes up and down, is essentially neutral and it does not go up or down, which is interesting. And um, I mean, it still could be a decent choice for a uh, little low level mercenary. Um, we can also upgrade this, so if you wanted to upgrade this, which I'm not really sure why you would, because I feel like the entire um, beauty of this particular item is in the fact that it is a relatively low-level item, um, you would need a Shale and a Tal Rune, which I don't, for some reason, have at this particular moment. Let me go, uh, let me go grab some, shall I? What am I talking about? This is a, a Nightmare version item, not 
a normal difficulty item. We don't need Shale Tal. We need Lem Co. I am a big a silly head. Uh, I've been doing too many of these low-level items, and Shale Tal popped into my head immediately. So uh, we will go from 108 defense, 20 strength, level 28, to 226 defense, 50 strength, level 50. Not a bad upgrade. Not terrible. Um, if you didn't have anything else and you just wanted to get some extra defense on your peasant crown, I could totally see doing that. Um, Lemon Co. are a little bit hard to come by, though, and I don't know why you would spend a Lemon Co. specifically on this. But uh, but maybe you just are having bad luck, you haven't found your Shaco yet, and this is your baby Shaco, and you just want to have your little baby Shaco upgraded a little bit. Um, or maybe you have the Ethereal version and you have it on a Mercenary, and you'd like to upgrade the Ethereal version to be a little bit more useful to him. Uh, in that case, we're going to beef up this one. So 10 strength, 28 level requirement, to 344 defense, 40 strength, and level 50 requirement. So uh, quite a lot of uh, nice defense on that little hat, and uh, I think that would actually be kind of useful for a mercenary. Uh, gives him some plus to skills. As you can see now that we can actually see the skills, you see how she's running at level 30. Uh, when I take this off, it should go down to level 29. So her skills actually do increase when you put plus to skill equipment on her. So the defense, the plus to skills, the faster run walk, as well as the plus vitality all come in handy to increase her hit points and everything, which is which is definitely very nice. Um, as you can see, she has 1,679 and uh, for some reason, it's not showing her uh, her health increase, but that's okay. Um, now, when it comes to this particular hat, um, I don't really feel like the upgrade is really worth it because by this level, you should be rocking something pretty nice, um, like for instance, a Shaco, or maybe um, a circlet with plus two to skills, or maybe a circlet with plus three to a specific branch of skills. Um, you could also be rocking several other pieces of equipment by now um, that will be better than this. Um, there's uh, plus two, plus two hats. There's plus uh, one hats that have better stats than these, depending on your specific circumstance. Um, but maybe you're just going for like a faster run walk build, and you want faster run walk on a hat. Well, peasant crown is going to give you faster run walk, and it can be combined with some boots, which I don't have any on because my feet are cold. And um, <laughs> you know, you could uh, combine that with some armor. Like for instance, I know Trangul's armor has faster run walk on it. Um, so you could run Peasant Crown, Trangles, some really nice 40% uh, run walk boots, um, and then maybe, uh, was it Cat's Eye, I think, has runs walk. So you could be, you could have four different run walk items, and you could maybe stack some run walk chammies in your, uh, in your inventory, which, uh, which isn't a terrible idea. Um, all in all, the Peasant's Crown is an interesting item. Um, it's definitely a very cool low level hat. For just about anybody who needs plus to skills and, uh, and vitality and energy. Um, it doesn't offer a lifesteal like a lot of other nice um, merc hats do. And it doesn't offer, um, you know, it's just some very specific things like crushing blow or uh, increased attack speed or anything like that. But you could also, you could always socket it. Um, you could put a 15% IAS jewel in it. 15% IS jewels are not particularly rare. Um, the rare ones are the ones that have 15% IS along with another effect. So let's keep in mind that um, that this particular hat could be a relatively low level 15% uh, IS plus one skills um, hat. And um, I feel like the hat kind of just speaks for itself and there's really not a lot of uh, a lot more to say. It's low strength requirement, it's low level requirement and uh, and for the level that it is, it's relatively good. Um, where can you find the Peasant Crown? Uh, let's go over that real quick, shall we? So uh, to, to look up where we would find the Peasant Crown, first we're going to look up Treasure Class uh, D2. And, uh, and that's going to pull up the Treasure Class list. And on the Treasure Class list, we're going to look for the Peasant Crown. And there it is, Peasant Crown. Uh, Peasant Crown has a Q level of 36 and a Treasure Class of 36. So it's going to drop from mainly uh, level 36 monsters and up. And, uh, and if we go to an area level list, um, which I'm not even going to do because I pretty much remember this by heart, um, normal difficulty, probably only Act 5, probably only from Bale. And, um, and for the most part, it's going to be Nightmare Difficulty um, Act 1. One and up. Most of Act One in Nightmare Difficulty will probably drop this item, um, and uh, and and it's not like extremely rare, um, but it's rare enough that you might not find it on your journeys. And um, 
really just depends. If you did find a peasant crown, you'd probably end up using it. Because a lot of the times when you find a peasant crown and you don't have something specific that you're using in your head slot, it ends up being a better choice than what you currently have. And um, as for the ethereal version, I mean, you could use it for a little while until it broke, and then you could maybe, maybe take it off at one durability and put it on a mercenary or something. Um, little baby Shaco. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.